So here's the uh, wires that I cut and I also uh, went ahead and soldered the ring connector together. Is here is I cut two 17 foot yellows and then two 17 foot red wires. And the only difference is the color. And I went ahead and just bolted them together and I put our little jumper splice on the nut also. Boom, all this is done. Just one final test. We're gonna touch the ground here to this here, get a beep, and then this there to that there. It's a beep. I think we're ready to go. We just gotta go outside and throw up an antenna and start tuning things. Just for fun, I went ahead and put everything inside this Explorer headset bag, cause it fits, has enough space and all, and uh, everything's stored together for this kit. Got the sky hook here with the pod, and now our new adapter extension, yes. And now our new counterpoise. Gotta figure this a little bit better. It is a mess already. Eek. Then we run them out. Bam. I can't believe it. I made a thing. The counterpoise uh, connections on the ground there. It runs up to the sky hook and that connects to the ham stick. Ah, oh, so cool, so cool, so cool. Now we just gotta tune it. Filming and focusing and hitting buttons at the same time. Not a good thing. All right. It is a 1.2 on 14.2. I think that is perfectly acceptable. Um, I am just gonna go ahead and show you. We're gonna go ahead and unhook the counterpoise system and see how that changes it. Okay, and tune again. It is 11. So that proves the counterpoise system is working. That proves that I can go ahead and use this as a non-intrusive system. Yes, 